What's going on, everybody? I think this is going to be my very first uh, review slash recommendation video. Um, I've been wanting to make some of these videos now that uh, I've been uh, kind of amassing a decent collection and uh, getting a decent following on Instagram. So figure maybe put out some of my favorite picks of comics that I think that if you haven't already read, you should read. And if you don't have in your collection, you probably should because it's it's really good and it's going to be worth something at some point. So uh, for the very first video, um, I wanted to keep something a little more modern, you know, so um, eventually I'm going to get to some of the classic uh, comics that I have. And, and, you know, those are everybody's staples that everybody knows of. But um, this one, I wanted to do something a little more recent and that I thought was an amazing series, uh, limited series, actually, that just came out in 2020 uh which was really good uh i don't know uh, how many of you are uh, uh, tmnt teenage mutant ninja turtles fans uh but uh, i know if you are you'll probably know what i'm about to say uh but they in 2020 released a, a limited series called last ronin uh which was uh, an amazing amazing five issue five book series that uh just followed the last remaining uh, of the ninja turtle brothers and uh, his uh uh, kind of drive and his journey to get revenge. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil too much, but I think you should all get and get your hands on a copy and read it if you haven't already read it and uh, add it to your collection. For example, like this is a, a variant copy issue number one right here uh, of, uh, of the last Ronin uh, signed by uh, uh, Eastman and uh, um, uh, Wallets. A uh, really great issue starts off. Um, I don't want to tell you who the last Ronin is if you don't already know. If you do know, you know, uh, it, I, I guessed it right away. And when I when I when I was confirmed, I it was it still blew my mind. It was amazing the way they did it. This is uh, issue two, first printing right here. Uh, you know, you got him on the cover right there. And then uh, this is uh, issue number four. I, I don't have haven't had a chance to get a first printing as well. I haven't had a chance to get a copy of. Uh, the first printing of issue number uh, three, but I'm going to get that. Uh, this is another variant co issue, variant cover of uh, issue number four. Um, I think that's second printing. Uh, this is a, a variant issue uh, five cover right here. Uh, I really love this one with Splinter in the background as a ghost. That's fantastic, I thought. Uh, this is the first printing of that uh, issue number five. Uh, really great uh, copy. That's the last. Oh, uh, correction. I, I apologize. That's not issue no, uh, first printing. The first printing was a different cover. This is a good one, though. And uh, so that's my recommendation, Last Ronin. Uh, if you haven't read it, uh, you should read it. It's fantastic. And um, uh, they actually just had a new uh, spinoff series called La Lost Years, where they follow what happened uh to like a prequel series on how he got to where he is now and how it all came about. And so uh, if you haven't, you should pick that up. And I believe that they're doing another continuation uh, of this storyline uh, as well, a, a sequel. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be really great. Uh, so, uh, they actually recently just came out with the, the movie, which if you haven't seen, is fantastic. You should definitely go see if you're a T TMNT fan. It was probably one of the best uh, Ninja Turtles movies uh, they put out. It was really, really well done. Uh, hats off to Seth Rogen. I, didn't, I, I was worried he wouldn't have done a good job, but he, he really did them justice and New York justice. It was uh, fantastic. Uh, movie. So in light of that, I thought uh, that was another reason why I wanted to, you know, feature the last Ronin. Uh, the game is also coming out soon too. It's going to be like an action RPG game. And if you're a video game fan, I assume most comic book fans are also video game fans. So um, you should also pr uh, pick that up. I mean, I, I'm hoping it's good. Uh, we'll see. I mean, it can go either way. They, I, I hear rumors that it's going to be along the vein of, of God of War, but it's a Nickelodeon, uh, you know, uh, you know, product or, you know, um, you know, licensed material. So you never know what's going to happen. But anyway, pick it up, take a read. Let me know what you think. I think it's fantastic. All right, guys.